All right, everybody, I am on a 2020 CVO street. <laughs> I can't lie. I'm on a freaking trike. <laughs> So far, I'm 200 yards into it and this is really weird. Like I don't have the balance, I'm just kind of sitting here like I'm driving a car. Um, never thought I'd uh, want to test drive a trike, but I kind of did. It's the CVO, it's the 117 2020 Triglide. I don't know if it's ultra or special or ultra special or super special or you gotta be special or no nah, I'm just kidding the reason I wanted to do this is because there's so many people in the world that see trikes hear about trikes and they're like oh, I'm never gonna get on a trike or oh look at that guy in the trike or whatever there's a couple of different demographics that get trikes you've got the older crowd that you know they're getting up in age and they can't really handle a motorcycle anymore or can't keep their balance which is fine and it's understandable i mean if i get to that point i'm gonna get a trike or maybe even a spider i like those um but then you've got a another crowd of people that have never ridden a motorcycle before okay i've never turned this sharp on a trike so i'm gonna see how this does very interesting you definitely turn I mean there's no counter steering on these so just a heads up and this has got the the traction control which I'm not gonna test it out but apparently like if you take a curve and it starts losing traction somewhere then uh, it'll balance the power to the uh, both rear tires in a way that'll get your traction back but um, Anyways, what I was saying is you may have somebody that is new to cycling, wants to get into it, but honestly, they're scared. They're scared of riding a motorcycle. They're scared of being on two wheels. They're scared of the balance thing. And so they go trike-wise. So what if that's what they do? More power to them, because guess what? The more they get out on this, the more they're around other people that are on two wheels, maybe they try out two wheels at some point in time. And if they do that, guess what? We get more riders. Like I say all the time, I'm all about getting more people into the motorcycle world, getting them into riding. And uh, if this is the way they do it, this is the way they do it. Let them do it. Who cares? God, it, it, <laughs> this thing feels weird. <laughs> nothing wrong with it it's got a little squeal in the brakes a lot of people have been uh running this thing i keep going to put my feet down oh taking corners fast or taking left turns fast is uh feels a little weird i want to lean but you don't lean another feature this has and i'll try to show it at the end if there's not a whole lot of people uh well i just want to tell you i'll just show you this is weird. I keep wanting to counter steer, but I don't have to. I actually turn like you turn a car or turn a four wheeler or something. I can't believe I'm riding a trike. This is so freaking crazy, but it, it's fun. I mean, you don't have to worry about doing this. <laughs> Just like on a bike, but with less risk, you can do this all day long and it's not a big deal. I mean, if you're on a straightaway like this. There, now I can just talk to you like this, use my hands, blah, blah, blah. Um, similar to the uh, CVO Limited that I rode, I don't, I'm not big on the Batwing fairing because I'm having to keep looking down like that instead of just looking forward and like my road glide. I wonder if they'll ever do like a road glide style fairing on a trike. That would be kind of cool. One thing I'm noticing on the curves, with a with a motorcycle with two wheels, it's effortless. I mean, you just barely counter steered, you lean it in, especially on smaller curves. This thing, like on the, especially on the sharper curves, you're giving it some on. I mean, you've really got to put some muscle into it uh, to to get it to turn right. I don't know if it's just me getting used to the um, 
the feel of the trike. I like I'm still leaning with it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not leaning, it's just my body doing what I think it's gonna do, but it's not. It's amazing how the brain trains itself to do certain things uh, when you do it repeatedly for a long time, like ride a motorcycle. Oh, what I was saying is I don't know what it is that I'm feeling, but I'm kind of feeling like this little sway back and forth every now and then. Not like when you get behind a truck on a motorcycle and you get that buffeting kind of knocking you. This is like actually feels like something from the bike, like doing that. Now that I'm doing, I'm doing that right now, but that's what it feels like. Just kind of a little back and forth. It's definitely got a lot of power. Unlike the CVO Limited that I rode, the CVO Limited doesn't have as much weight because of course you've got this back trunk area and everything like that that's a lot heavier. You got a whole nother wheel and, and brakes and whatever else is within there. Um, so this 117 does not feel like a 117 on a two wheel motorcycle. It doesn't feel that raw oomph. Yeah, that's what I said, raw oomph. God, turning to the right and to the left is just weird. I still wanna lean, but you don't lean. You just go. What's kind of a cool feeling to me is that, like back in the 80s, I used to ride three wheelers with my friends and yeah, sharp turns. You're, you're flipping that thing almost every time. <laughs> Those things were nuts. Uh, engineers must have been cruel guys back in the day. But this has that same feel. I mean, except it doesn't feel like on the turns that I'm going to flip. It's, it's very well balanced. Uh, it feels like it's, it's locking me to the ground on turns. Like I said, I just gunned it. Feels like the power in my 103 Road Glide. Just because it's a heavier vehicle. And I know it's got more power. It's just, I don't know. You, If you're used to riding a two-wheel motorcycle, and you know, 103s, 107s, one, even 114s, you think, oh, CVO, this thing's going to freaking go. Oh, that's so weird. You've really got to turn with some muscle on these things. Now, let me let me let me give you a little caveat, not a caveat, but a little, little, you know, not to worry comment. When I say you've got to put some muscle into these things, you got to put some muscle into them compared to riding a motorcycle. On a motorcycle, on turns, you barely have to do anything. So if you're a smaller person, a tiny lady, a tiny guy, an oompa loompa, whatever. You, you can still do this. I mean, if you're looking at getting a trike and you're a smaller person, you don't have to be like Arnold Schwarzenegger. But I'm just telling you that there's a noticeable difference. Uh, very distinct. Okay, so I'm going to show you all something cool here because there's nobody behind us. Alright, y'all ready? Nobody behind us? <laughs> It's got reverse. Yay! Sorry, that was really dorky. Let's get this thing out into the median. It's just so weird that I'm standing still on my feeder on the floorboards. Take some getting used to. I'm on a trike. I feel like you can insert appropriate lyrics to on a boat. Yeah, taking those corners fast. Like I really felt that in my arms. This is not one of those burners you uh, take off in on the off a corner. I mean, it'll still do it. I don't know if the. Well, I'll look at the video see if the the uh, traction control flashed as I took that corner. But that's another thing. If the traction control is flashing then that means that it's utilizing the traction control system. My take on it, I think it's cool. If somebody wants to get into riding by getting a trike, this is a good bike to get. I mean, even the CVO, it's not too crazy powerful. I mean, yes, it is crazy powerful compared to others, but it's not uncontrollable. 
uh, the balance is pretty easy. Just you got to remember, you're, there's no counter steering. You've got to steer into the curves, and it takes a little muscle. Like if you went in on a long trip, let's say down to the Dragon or the Snake or Devil's Triangle, you might be a little uh, fatigued afterwards on a trike, uh, just because you're you're putting some power into it, and there, it definitely doesn't have power steering. But like I said. That's not saying that this is nobody could do this that's not a bigger muscular person. Anybody could do this. Uh, it's just when you're used to a motorcycle and counter steering and leaning right way or left way, whichever way. That was a bad dad joke. Anyways, if you're used to leaning with some counter steering, you'll realize that this is not that easy. Not as easy as the counter steering, sorry. It is easy to do, you can do this. If you can ride a four-wheeler, you can do this. Uh, or a three-wheeler from the 80s. <laughs> Would I get one if I'm older? Yeah, but I kind of dig the spider look. So if I went with the trike, speaking of which, how many of you knew, say it in the comments, that Harley was the one that originally designed that two front wheel trike? Uh, before Spider did, before Can-Am or whoever did them. Uh, I didn't learn that until I went to the Harley Museum and saw their two prototypes that they scrapped. But yeah, so the trike thing is is definitely got a specific demographic, you know, whether it's an older demographic that can't ride two wheels anymore or the younger demographic that's scared of two wheels. And if somebody gets a trike, just please if they're your good buddy and you start riding with them and they really start liking it, okay, yeah, bust their chops in. But don't do it right off the bat because then they're going to hate riding. They're not going to like it. They're going to be embarrassed. Don't let them be embarrassed. I mean, it's, it's still a fun motor vehicle. I'm, I'm having fun right now. If I'm older and I get to that point where I can't handle the two wheels anymore, I don't have good balance or anything that causes me not to be able to do it, yeah, I'd do one of these. I do kind of feel like I'm cheating, <laughs> but it's uh, it is still fun. It's a good bike. But if you are used to riding a two-wheel bike and you go to test drive the CVO track light with the 117 cubic inches, just remember. It's not going to have the get up and go that a CVO, let's say you ride a Street Glide Special and you ride, then you try out a uh, CVO Street Glide, it's not going to have the same get up and go. So thanks again, Smith Brothers, Harley Davidson for putting this on. I'm going to do one more ride with one more bike and then I am done. Because like I said before, I'm taking up my lunch break to do videos riding bikes. But today's a perfect day for it. It's overcast. It's nice. Oh, another thing to remember when you're riding these is those wheel, the wheels on the back are a lot wider than your bike. So make sure you know you've got plenty of space. Like right there, I probably would have been too close to those cones on my road glide. I mean, I would have been closer to the cones on the road glide, so that would have made me too close to the cones on this. Fun bike, though. Fun trike. I mean, when you call something a bike, it's short for bicycle. This is a workout. It's a workout? Yeah, like the turning and stuff? Yeah. You gotta put it in there. That's what I said. It's like, man, I'm, I feel like pushing. Old Honda three wheels. Yeah, yeah, yes, except I don't flip every time I take a sharp turn. 